told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like Bantha Poodoo. You a little girl. Oh yes, the head tails. Who you call a little girl, Chuba Face? Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. I just got my food! Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. Don't tell me what I need to do! We came here to pick on little girl! Why you bring giant, giant, furry bear? You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Greenies? She's right, we are rather green, brother. We should leave. That is a very large furry bear. Quick, eat Zalbar's food. I just want to eat. What are you doing? Hey, relax, Big Z. No need to be rude. Sorry about that. But Wookiees ain't much for conversation, you know? Yeah, that's my bad. I'll talk to you. Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You, you down here. are I guess that built! Me and Big Z, your official what working. are these arms? Hey, we both speak basic. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo. And this big Wookiee is my best friend, Zalbar. I offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... How'd you guys end up as cool we just bros? Kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Hey, uh, you came to the right seemed like a smart little girl. You want info Tell me, terrace? how did you I'm get jacked? Davik, the lower city gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. What about Davik? Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operation, the Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. What about these gangs, eh? There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the lower city. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Bex. Sometimes Zalbar... They're like the Sith and the Jedi, Jedi but the not as cool. By Gaden Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight and swooped by accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a hidden back. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. Why did he leave, though? When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Bex from the face of Terrace. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. Kalo Nord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Kalo's been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. That's a lot of exposition, yeah, thank you. This dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. But I haven't even touched the food. I ordered it, it came to the table. I haven't touched it. Think about something besides your stomach for five minutes. Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat. Five minutes? We aren't made of money. Yeah, bye, losers. 
Wookie food. Hey, green paste things and what I'm assuming is a carrot. Insert new race here. You think we are strange? Uh, yes, you're a freak. A freak! One tiny brain, two eyes. What? I have the pinnacle of evolution. Can I ask you some questions, freak? Where are you from? Power dog. Notice your other eye doesn't talk. Oh, I can't hear him. Very interesting alien design, yes. And it only took me over a decade to realize you'll never see this alien ever again. That alien type is very unique to this series. Bib Sarul. I'm looking at a dancer, don't touch me. I don't like your tone, asshole. You think I'm gonna be impressed by your tantrum? Do you hire women because of how strong their tantrums are? Whatever, I'm leaving. Hey, you need my help. I need to be sure you don't check with a partner. Maybe I should give up. No, man, I'll be your partner. Yeah, you're super desperate. What other choice do you have? I'm good enough to get you through your audition. Look, I'm good. Look, I just, come on. How hard can it be? Eventually she gives in and says fine. Don't dance too close. Alright, I was very close. Your partner is not very bad, even though he yelled at me for some ungodful reason. He likes it, let's do a little dance. Yeah, just follow my lead. I'll do it from behind. One more dance and I'll consider it. You're looking really good now, kid. You're gonna be a star. Come on, we almost got it. Just keep it simple. Just bring it in. Just give them the little wave. They love the little wave. Yeah. I'm gonna dive it. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got that little wave. Hey. Oh. Crash! <laughs> oh man, your partner's fault at the end of there made the whole thing bad. You did it on purpose. Why? What do you have to earn? Oh my God! Just lean in. Face it. You just aren't good enough. You're nothing, kid. Nothing. Hello, Zach's other hut. Yes, bounties. I would love to turn in some bounties. Let's talk to you about Rat Ghost Serum. A thousand credits. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can make people pay a lot of money for that. I don't have the serum, but I'll totally work on it. Talk to me about these bounties. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. As long as we don't end up on the list of your victims. I know that Dia chick, we just didn't kill her. I have to go back and kill her. 
Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. Garth, you've been quiet relatively for most of this time. I would appreciate it if that continued. Alright, alright. Alright, I just kill? Okay. I got a bounty I want to collect, though. I killed Largo. I killed the hell out of him. Give me four honey. Oh, he totally said no, and I just quick skipped it. Fine. Give me my three honey. Oh, I'm gonna make so much money. Can I do the? Can I do the mean lean? Turn to hideout. Because I know for 100% fact that Dia is in one of these rooms of your hideouts. You again? Why do you keep bothering me? I'm here to collect your bounty, Wait, bitch. Think about what you're doing. If that pig had just kept his hands to himself, I wouldn't have had to give him that scar with my vibroblade. Yeah, he but... He gets drunk and tries to force himself on me, and I get a bounty put on my head for defending myself. Where's the justice in that? Holden's the one to blame, not me. You're right. But... I need money. What's wrong with you? She doesn't deserve this. She sliced this guy. She gets what then she you're deserves, going to learn damn the it. Same lesson I taught Holden. I'm not as helpless as I look. But you are as dead as you look. Crash! Oh. Here, try to kick me. Take out your blade. You have no blade, you die. Where was that fancy fibro blade you were talking about? Huh? Huh? Transit back. I've killed another. Kill Dia. Yes, three honey. Give me four. I'll never convince anyone. I'm not as persuasive as I want to be. I need details on these bounties. Slevin. Star Killer. Matic. Oh my god. Uh, Slevin. She's an assassin, began freelancing. She killed six citizens in the street in their bodyguards. They are all powerful merchant family, the Olgos. More Olgos died. The guards and droids can't protect them. There's no Olgos left. So who hired them? The Organa family. Dun dun! Like Leia's family. They demand a government put out a contract. Yeah, I don't care about politics. You're absolutely right, but that was nice flavor text. So, uh, I already know where Starkiller is. Who's Matrix? Testified trials against him. Lots of people were arrested. Davik was shut down. Oh, boy. Alright, I'll keep my eye out. Because... I hate you, Gelru. Don't look at me. Hello, Hidden Beck. The Hidden Beck base, right near the cantina, eh? Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the Hidden Beck base. How do I know you're not a Volker spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? Because I'm you. I'm. You know what? You're absolutely right. Let's start over. I was told I need to speak a to him for help. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Vex open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Vulture gang war, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Maybe I could bribe you. My loyalty's not for sale. Okay. I've been with the Hidden Vex for I years. I jumped the gun. I'm, I'm not sorry. I'm going to desert Gadon now just because everyone is turning against him. Maybe I could help well, even more. We do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. So... Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden backs are watching you. Everyone's watching my fine ass, honey. Ah, uh, all these hidden backs. Hello, Zadarja. Hold it right there. Oh. Who are you? 
And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. Yes, yeah, suicide. You're too trusting, Gadden. Breshek and his Volkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Volkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want. Whoa, that hard I'm turn. You. you try anything and you she didn't even use her legs for you that. Can say Volker spy. Hello, Gadden. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Volkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now. How can I help you? I need information on these escape, escape pods. You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. You are up the their Sith ass, man. If the Sith we knew anything useful, they'd she have a battalion of thing. troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. I'm not working for the I Sith, I swear. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang, but it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. Aha! We Becks don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Those damn bastards. I've got to get there and Normally, save her. the Vulcas would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Don't say that out loud. a way to escape from the Vulcar base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcar scum at the base. Rezik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. What does a swoop race have to do with I'm all this? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up You're telling me I can prize, win? Brezik hopes to win oh, loyalty of the smaller hmm. gangs. Their numbers this is just Lance Taylor's style. Me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. Can you help me do this? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. Oh, yes. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Becks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcars stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. All right, cool. How am I supposed Getting to do that? Getting into the Volker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a I kid. I heard that name. How we just talked to, to that lady. This? Missions explored every step of every back alley. I'm starting the city. challenge, Spacey. She knows the Undercity sewers better than anyone. I told you if I was chomping at the bit. The Volker base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend, Zalbar, always looking to stir up all I need was the green light they like to go exploring in the undercity despite the dangers your best bet is to look for her in the undercity For those of you who uh, do not know this man here is spacey the owner and proprietor of the spacey or I'm sorry the discorded dis discord dis I can do this distorted community and we have just started down here a is much tougher. 60 You'll game challenge in the has. year of 2018. One of the First one, one in the, the community to hit to beat a list of 60 games wins. I don't know if there's a prize, but I do know now, I'm going to win. I could give them Guaranteed. I will talk the biggest game the right now papers, you won't need to anyway. for posterity. So Knights of the Old Republic here are, is on this list. I put it on this list. I'm... Good I'm choice. gonna play it. Thanks I gotta get uniforms. this one done. 
I gotta get the you second one done, and that's just two anyway. of the final 60 nah. games. Now I'm pretty sure 60 is the final count, but you got you got you gotta go, man. You gotta, go ahead and check out Spacey too. Your Spacey was the kind soul who came by in my time of need and graced me with some of my first viewers. His, we will rise. We will take this community to the top. What's up with your freaky eyes, old man? I'm very tactful. Are you itching for a fight or something? How dare you? I should kill you where you stand. Because he's blind? Calm down, Zedra. I'm not ashamed of what I've become. As you can see, I lost my eyes in a swoop racing crash. I rely on these artificial replacements to see now. But my blindness Wait, was not you're the not blind? My accident. My affliction was what eventually led to Everyone's this talking mad shit like he's blind. He can lead blind. He's the greatest leader blind. He got fake eyes. He can see. When I lost my sight, he's not blind. Accident, everyone assumed I would step down as leader of the Hidden Bex and let Brezik, my most trusted follower, take over. But with my ocular implants, I can still see well enough to lead this gang. And I knew Brezik wasn't ready to take over yet. Unfortunately, Brezik didn't agree with me. In a rage, he left to join our arch rivals. This sounds like some Obi Wan Anakin shit right here. The members followed him, and soon he and his followers had taken control of the Vulcan gang. Sounds like he's a spoiled brat. Brezik is a proud man. My decision was a public humiliation for him. Maybe if I had stepped down, this gang war could have been avoided. Don't fool yourself, Gadden. Brezik wants to control the lower city gangs. If you'd stepped down, he'd have led the Vex against the Vulkers. He wanted this war, one way or another. <sighs> I know you're right, Zerdra. Brezik won't rest until I am dead and the Vex are no more. But, but why, though? Accept the truth of his betrayal. What do you mean, when am I gonna go get that Twitter? I got that. Your time would probably be I went and created myself a, swoop a the temporary Twitter with, uh, with all my information stuff on it. But then I realized, why bother? I don't want to manage two Twitter accounts, so I deleted it. But I can't change my current Twitter information over to my new Twitter information for like 30 days. But I'm sure you... that I'm sure that 30 days has already gone by. So I'm going to get on that real quick. It was my professional Twitter, uh, uh, like, for my career and stuff, but I ain't doing nothing with it. I'll just swap that bitch over. Volkers! Crash! Smash! I missed! Stop missing! Okay, nothing to steal here, nothing to steal there. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Karadumpa kunba yiya moka paata! Kin kin kuno ba muli rachi kun tong na punsha nyonyang kama vol pa muli kama na lunda di ho tonga kun honga mi ona kun bez ching palamule tong kin ba nuno tek ah so you want to play this the hard way <laughs> okay you there boy oh boy tony pudu. Oh, it's Candorous. I had no idea I would be looking down his gun today. We were just messing around. We don't want to screw with no Mandalorian. Racist. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Oh, that's all man right there. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you. No one moves like Candorous. No one smooth like Candorous. No one's got a big cleft in his chin like Candorous. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Vex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Who the hell are you? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment.
He just thinks he can walk off like that. You think you're better than me? Ooh, apart more apartments. Why is everyone going to these apartments? Hey, look who it is. What do you need, little boy? You idiot, that's Kalo Nord. He's infamous. So infamous that only I know about him. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. You'll never collect this bounty. You can only collect bounties on dead people. We're alive. That's the plan. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to say that. Two. Stop. This guy is too cool for school. Enemy sighted. For the Republic! Oh no, don't worry, Spacey. Most, if not all, of these games are gonna end up on YouTube. You will be able to see the full progress. Unless you just want it highlighted on Twitter, or Twitch rather. In which case, I'll try and remember to do that, but, you know, just in case I don't, it's all gonna go up on YouTube. But yeah, dark. 100%. If I'm not specced out to be Darth Maul, I'm not playing the game, right? I've played this game a number of ways. Although, when I recall to my childhood, I never remember going full, full, like, melee power. Like, I always thought that was my focus, but in reality, I was just a big techno nerd. Computer fixing, robot repair, persuasion, I usually do all that. This is 100% beef. Did I run past one of those doors earlier because of that fight? Yes. They're just cycling? Dead. Your shield didn't help. Dead. Come on. Get on it. Test me again. Oh, I leveled up to level three. Obviously, we're going to pump in that constitution. Give us more of that treat injury. Or no. Awareness. Eats. Do weapon fighting. Now we're going to do the hard part. Un unless the game proves exceptionally difficult, we're going to do everything we can not to level up again. Now we're going to get levels, but I'm actually not going to commit the levels until later. For reasons that will become painfully obvious if you don't already know. Don't know how I'm gonna get through this frag vine. So I'll just set it off, because I'm a man. Take it off. More apartment doors. Show yourself. Oh, a gas mine. Wait, why did I pause? Oh, mine sighted. I was about to say, where are the enemies? Read message. How's your life on Taurus? I heard your brother left for Tatooine to become a miner. Did he leave his hyperdrive? Hope you're practicing with that blaster. Taurus isn't like Alderaan. It can be dangerous. Stay away from those swoop games. Uncle Louie. Alright, I'll take the hit. Oh, I resisted the poison. That's how cool I am. All right, I'll try and enter a password. What? What is the name of your pet? Oh God, I didn't read that in the message. Heard your brother left. Did he at least leave hyperdrive behind? Oh yes. The pet's name is hyperdrive. We taught you to fire a blaster. Uh, my uncle Louie. You came from. Alderaan. Ha ha ha! All relevant information in one message. Eh. Screw you, Elam. Your security system's horrible. Am I gonna find another fight before I get to this door? Nope. 
Open up. <laughs> Slevin. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what? You know, you for a here? super big assassin, for me to just stumble upon you. Here, collect your bounty. You're a fool if you think you can collect the price on my head. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. Is that a blaster in your hand? Idiot. Crash! Fight! Fight! Karth, I need you! Hey, stay away from Karth! Why is she so much beefier than me? Adrenal strength! Oh my god, we barely won. I blew the adrenal strength for nothing. But we got her scope and her neural band. You know, let's start putting some equipment on. Well, let's first raid the- well, ah! First things first. Can't return to hideout right now, okay. Can I return to hideout now? No? Okay. So, get that Republic mod armor on me. Get an energy shield on one. Neural headband gives you a will save. An adrenal amplifier gives you that. Give you an energy shield as well. Grips. You'll be a grenadier. Level up. Uh, we'll keep your treat injury up. You can't have fighting, so you expect to have two blasters in your hands. Blaster pistols are your bread and butter. Let's see. Oh, give him conditioning, too. And you already got what you can possibly have. Got the combat suit. Sure. Screw that, dude. There's no one left to fight. But I ran past the footlocker. No, it was just that one again. Why, game? Why? Surprise, Volker! Fire! When you put him down, you put him down, man. This place is torn to hell. Get a do rag? Not gonna lie, I read that as Durog. I'm like, what the hell is a Durog? <laughs> nah, I get I get a Durag though. Turn to hideout. HP restored. Transit back. Best life hack in the game. Save game. Forward! Volker Enforcer, go! Surprise, motherfucker! I'm still strong! Wait, he's stunned? He's stunned! Darth, you left me like this! Heal! Heal! Inventory, cheese. Where's my cheese? Item used. Ah, screw your blaster. I'm immortal. Immortal man, immortal man. Teleporting home to save the land. 
Easy health. <laughs> Not a cheat. Oh, something's bothering Karth. Oh, yes, Living with me bother. is a bother, I see. So you want to talk well, a little bit more? I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? I just want to know you better. Oh, I don't, God. but... It's an interrogation you wanted. Why didn't you say so? Excellent. All my secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though. You're welcome to try. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened from your perspective. All right. Uh, I didn't really know what was Neither happening. Was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people. And for what? And the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic? It could literally be, literally be anybody, Karth. I don't know. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. All coincidences! You were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested your transfer. Why would Bastila do that, though? The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. But hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, ever, and I hate surprises. I had nothing to do with that crash, I tell you. I expect you. you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Oh, man. You always are suspicious because I'm sick of this shit. Personally, I don't trust anyone. And I have no reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? Oh, you're so angsty. All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. I got those papers right here, boy. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack ghouls, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. You got it, Chief. Like, I'm gonna follow your orders, punk. 